This evening I bring to you a worship offering for Maundy Thursday. Jesus has eaten the Passover with his disciples, and he has told them all that they will desert him. There are objections, of course. Honestly, I think that the disciples think that they will stand by him no matter what. But we know how the story goes. Jesus reasserts, even to his rock Peter, that yes, even he will deny him, and deny him three times, in fact. After the supper is over, they leave the place where they were eating and go to a place called Gethsemane. And Jesus begins to pray. He is heavily grieved and agitated as he prays. He even throws himself on the ground as he prays. And in a desperate sounding prayer, Jesus asks the father if this cup might pass from him. And yet he relinquishes his own will to the will of the father. Jesus prays and prays while his disciples are struggling to even stay awake. Until the hour finally arrives when Jesus is betrayed into the hands of sinners and they lay hands on him and arrest him and his disciples desert him and flee. They deserted him after he chose them, after he taught them, after he traveled with them and healed others alongside them after he ate the Passover with them and washed their feet and spoke to them about what it meant to live as a servant, they deserted him. They deserted him as he was taken into custody and led, likely in chains, to the home of Caiaphas, the priest. This evening, on this Monday, Thursday, we strip bare the altar of God in our sanctuary. We do this in concert with the tradition of the church, as a solemn reminder of the life that was stripped from our Savior. Jesus, our Lord and Savior, has given and given of himself so selflessly so that we might have abundant life and life eternal. But in return, he has had his teachings and his authority questioned. He has been mocked and ridiculed. He has been betrayed, and his followers have abandoned him and left him all alone to face the angry crowd and the court of the Sanhedrin. He has been left all alone to be spit upon and to be called a blasphemer. Maundy Thursday teaches us that even when everything has been stripped away, something remains. And that something that remains is the love and mercy of an all-giving Savior who came to die so that we might live. Let us pray. Gracious and merciful God, we thank you for calling us to be your disciples and for the gift of faith. On this most holy night, we also give you thanks for your tender care for your disciples, your disciples then and your disciples now. Grant us, Lord, more and more of your mercy and grace as we enter into Good Friday and continue our journey to the cross. May we never take your grace for granted, and may you fill us with more of your grace so that we may share it to a world 
that is in desperate need of grace. In the name of our redeeming Savior, we pray. Amen.